Welcome to the Canabravas Ring channel. Today we will talk about everything you should know about CTR and CTS. There are two parts in this class, today part one. I am Dr. Sergio Canabrava from Brazil. In this two class, I will talk about capsular tensor segment, I will talk about capsular rooks, I will talk about capsular tensor rings. Today, the part one, CTR tips. Case one, I will talk about one case, FACO in lower than nine degrees disinsertion, and about case two, traditional CTR between nine and 120 disinsertion. In the next class, I will show you the case three, modified CTR in bigger than 120 disinsertion, and I will show about the fourth the case for the capsular tensor segment and fibrous bag. Let's start. CTR, CTS, important tips. In the left, the traditional CTR, capsular tension ring. In the middle, modified CTR or Sioni ring. In the right, capsular tension segment. Tip 1. CTR size is important. In eyes lower than 24 mm, you can use a CTR with 12 mm. In eyes between 24 and 28 mm, you can use a CTR with 13 mm. In eyes bigger than 28 mm, you can use a 14 CTR mm. Tip 2. Capsular hooks. For example, a macro hooks. You need to use OVD between the capsule and the lens to implant the capsular hook. You can see in this video how it's not possible to insert the CTR because the bag is not supporting. There is no support in the bag. Then it's impossible to insert the CTR. Let's go to the tip 3. One or two hands, in my opinion, I need, I prefer two hands, how you can see in the height image. Let's go to the video. Pay attention. There are two macules supporting the bag. In this case, I did the fire commissification first, and now I'm inserting and implanting the CTR. You can see now in my left hand the Siski hook. And I will connect the Sinsky hook in the final CTR hole look. And now I implant the CTR inside the bag. You can see now. Okay? Because this I prefer two hands. Let's go. The question What is the disinsertion size? This is an imp important question. In the case one, in FACO in lower than 9 degrees disinsertion, how in this case you can use visco in your left hand when the bag came to the tip and a three piece IOL. Let's go to the video. The video, look, the visco now when the bag came to the tip and FACO modification, FACO modification again when the bag came to the tip, look insert the OVD in the left hand, okay? In this case, lower than 9 degrees, you don't need capsular tension rig. Pay attention, insert the three-piece IOL in the circles and capture the optical zone in the bag, how you can see in this video. And pay attention now in these two images. You can see how the haptics stay in the circles, the optical zone capture, and the heft 9 degree to the disinsertion. Okay, the left image 90 degree the, the heft to the disinsertion, and you can see how the heft stay in the circles. Let's go to the second case. You can use a traditional CTR in case between 9 and 100 degrees. Let's go to the video. In this case, interesting case because there are, there is an important fibrous in the anterior bag. You can use a needle, an insulin needle, and a scissor venous to do a 
hacks. Look how the fibers is big. Then let's go start the fabrication and you can see how the bag came to the tip. Then I stop it and you can see how the silicon oil came to the interior chamber. Look, then I decide to insert the traditional CTR. Look, I like to use two forceps, pay attention in the angulation and slow, it's important, slow, slow and slow. And now in my left hand, the Sinsky hook, I will connect it in the final CTR hole and insert it inside the bag. Look now. Then I complete the fire Look how the bag is stable in this moment. There is no more silicon oil in the anterior chamber. And I finish the fire Pay attention how is big the anterior bag fibers. Okay, thank you for your attention. Go to the part two of this class to see more case about CTR and CTS. And you have a Facebook group, the name is FECO Tuesday. And you can see every Tuesday an interesting case about FECO Thank you for your attention.